I think the um, expectations are higher uh, and the specifications that are asked to uh, us as OEMs is really become always tighter but that's that's not an issue it's actually a positive if you look it's it's actually pushing all the uh, uh, all the OEMs to excel in what they're doing. The Vertimule and the HRC uh, both are uh, technologies totally aligned uh, to the trend of the industry, to the mining industry, which is the energy consumption uh, reduction or the good utilization of the energy and also the water uh, consumption reduction. HRC and, and Vertimule are really important milestones in, in the innovation. So the Vertimule came, um, you know, with uh, to become a, a leader in the, in the vertical mill market. And if you take the HRC, uh, it, it's, it's, it's now relatively new, but there's some very um, unique uh, innovation with the HRC. Uh, HPGR was an established technology, but we came with um, French roll design and anti-skew operation, which really uh, brings a unique performance uh, and, and uh, a high, high efficiency in terms of energy consumption. So that, that's something, you know, these, these are important milestones. And so HRC will become a market leader as well. On the process and, and plant design, I think there's, there's a demand for, for more. And uh, over the last few years, we developed a software internally first to, um, for equipment sizing and, and, and process design. It's really unique. We developed this software to capture 150 years of expertise and experience in equipment sizing and plant design. We have a very strong track record in terms of modeling and simulation. We started with um, computer-based automation and, and we had as met so a number of unit automation packages over the years and also um, some quite advanced control systems like uh, our OCS software, but also advanced sensors like our Visio Froth, measure um, froth on flotation cells and, and Visio Rock to measure rock on, on conveyor belts. Those tools are, are were the start of digitalization, but what the digitalization really brings today it's first, it, it can handle large volumes of data. Uh, there's speed, we have fast internet. It's cloud-based, so it can be accessed everywhere in mobility. And advanced user interfaces as well. And the essential thing is artificial intelligence. We have been working on our solutions the last two, three years. Our customers, uh, they expect results now. They expect um, to see real applications, to see um, value, generated by uh, implementation of digitalization. The first focus will be on uh, uptime, reliability, availability of the equipment, which is what I think something that operations expect, first of all. We do launch equipment that provide improvement in, in energy um, usage and water usage, uh, um, etc. but we need to sustain this. And, and, and the condition monitoring, the remote monitoring, which allows this to happen. There's a high expectation on, on game-changing technologies for, for the future. The best example is digitalization. That's because we are ready now. The technology is ready, the costs are down, and, and we're ready to implement. Same thing will happen some, some, for some of the game-changing technologies. So, waterless processes, for instance, and, and uh, the, the dry tailings, uh, tailings management uh, challenge that will certainly happen. Or there's like um, sensor-based or sorting, there's, there's new technology coming. It will certainly happen and transform our industry. And as far as uh, virtual reality or augmented reality, rather, uh, I'd say, um, for maintenance and services, it certainly be absolutely fantastic. We're coming from 150 years of innovations and we're really ready for the next 150 years.